So we learned that you know when we're building own, we want it to be perfect. We want it to have everything we ever dreamed of in this product. And you can't start right there. You have to start with the basics. You have to start with a basic product and get it out as fast as possible to customers. Because ultimately, if your business doesn't have customers and if it's not profitable, it's, it's just a hobby. You want to build everything you ever think of because it's all about ideas, right? But you have to pare it down and just keep it as simple as possible. You could really take things over the top and build something that's too complicated, even though it has a really simple function. And you're also going to get a lot of negative pressure from your customers because you're going to have a beta product that's not going to be very good. People aren't going to want to use it. And they're going to be telling you, this isn't what I want. And your job is to look past all of that and say, I'm not going to let my first 10 reasons that I could stop doing this get in the way, and I'm going to go past those 10 reasons. Because the truth of the matter is, until you get past those first 10 reasons to quit, you actually don't even know if this is something that is going to work. You know, you want to make sure that you care as much about the people you work with as you do about your idea and your vision. Because your idea and vision is empty without the people that build it. You know, like Verdi was saying, as a founder, you can't, you can't possibly build it on your own. You can't start a movement with one person. Money does not equal results. You might be tempted to say, if I just pump a bunch of cash into this thing, this is exactly what I'm going to get. But in reality, people are what create results. And so you might be tempted to you know, just trust that things are going on, but you really need to be actively involved in, in the day-to-day -day operations of what's going on. You need to be following up with people, making sure that people are meeting deadlines, making sure that every single person on the team is truly an A player, not a B player at all. If people are a B player, try to bring them up to an A player. If people are a C player, maybe they're not a right person to have in the company. Money does not equal results. And also be thinking about that if you, if you do decide that going out to raise money is something that sounds interesting to you because um, it, it's not necessarily going to take you from point A to point B.